Hi everyone, it's Eddie here at Eddie Makes Art. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to do a watercolor painting. Very simple, very easy. Um, just something fun and loose. And um, I wanted to get back into my watercolor painting because I, um, I haven't done it in a while. So this is new for both of us. But um, this is just a simple um, little sketch of a boat. I divided the paper into three lines. So basically, um, you have your sky, sea, sand. So it's going to be a little bit of a seascape kind of thing. Um, and I've masked off the boat with this um, masking fluid. Here, this is Windsor Newton. Um, first of all, I am using Stonehenge Aqua Cold Press uh, paper block. It's in, um, let's see, 9 by 12, acid free, 100% cotton. And then I've got my favorite brushes here. These are from, um, these are silver black velvet. I hope you can see that okay. Um, and I've got four sizes here. I've got a 10, 8, 6, and 4. 10, 8, 6, and 4. And then over here, i got some paint. I honestly couldn't tell you every single color that's in here by name and brand because it's been a while. However, I do have some uh, fresh ones I just put in. And let's see. This guy right there. That is a Windsor Newton Cerulean Blue. Okay, and then I have uh, this right here, this darker blue. That is uh, Thalo Turquoise, also Windsor Newton. And um, in here, this little greenish bluish guy is the Cobalt Turquoise. Again, from Windsor Newton. Uh, I have some neutral tint. And that is to, um, you, you tint the color without really changing it a lot, a lot. Um, it's also good for uh, doing shadows and um, that sort of thing. And then I got some alizarin crimson here. This is the Windsor Newton Cotman. Uh, watercolors and it's alizarin crimson and that will be um, for our boat <coughs> excuse me so let's see we are going to first wet our paper not the entire thing I'm going to do this by section so I'm just going to wet the the, um, the top now I'm using this uh, Princeton Velvet Touch wash brush. It's a three quarter inch. Get some clean water here right off the screen with uh, one from a dirty. And just brush this along. And something I learned when watercolor, doing watercolor, is to, when you're wetting your paper, is to not be afraid to wet it. Um, if you're going to do the wet and wet technique, because otherwise it's going to be kind of patchy. So fingers crossed this is good. This paper is not brand new either. So I just want to, you know, forewarn you that if something weird happens, it's, it's probably the paper. Let's see, I'm trying to get in there. This is a textured paper. It's got a bit of a texture. It's not specifically textured, but the way it's it's made, it gives it a texture. Um, so you'll see that maybe, but um, that won't affect anything. It shouldn't. All right, let's see. Take a look at it when it's, 
evenly shiny, that's when I go in with some paints. Dry that off. Uh, so I'm just gonna take our big brush here. I'm gonna wet it and I'm gonna go into a little bit of this. Oh, well, I actually put some indigo in here too. This is indigo and the indigo is by Academy Watercolors. All right, so I'm just gonna come in here and just start dropping color. Thalo turquoise and maybe, maybe just a touch of this green here, which I think is, uh -huh, I'm not sure, <laughs> but it's a green, you know. All right, so here, same thing, I'm just kind of dropping in lines of paint and then I'm coming in with some fresh water just going over it and just basically trying to create like a, just some waves. This is a, a liner brush. It's a Princeton uh, Velvet Touch script liner. And I'm going to wet it. And then come in with some of this, to some of this color. Maybe take more of this little green here into the blue, just a tiny bit. And then just come along and kind of, oops. Just put some lines in, nothing fancy. Oh, this reminds me of a little vacation I took about two years ago. A friend of mine came up from Florida and her and I went to Newport, Rhode Island. Well, we did like um, a little tour of uh, Connecticut and then we went to Newport, Rhode Island. And um, uh, it's so nice there, just sitting there by the water, watching all the boats and very cool. I'm just taking this pretty Pretty good hotel for not a lot of money. Um, I didn't go in, the, we didn't go in the summer. This was like, this was in the fall. So it was a little chilly, but it was, it was nice enough to sit outside. Um, she, she actually was, yeah, it was the end of October because she came up for Halloween because she likes to go to Salem for the, um, their big Halloween celebration, which to be honest, is not that good. Um, it, I'm not into that sort of thing anyway and um but I went for her and then uh if you've ever been to Newport Rhode Island they have what's called cliff walk and that is basically um a cliff along the coast and you um and it's paved you can walk all along it um and it's just it's awesome and behind that cliff is you know 
beautiful, beautiful mansions and, and estates. And they have a lot of great plants and trees and flowers. It's, it's a fun afternoon, definitely. Um, where do we want to go now? I think we just want to maybe darken up a little bit in parts of the sky. can um you check it out there's one i believe there's a lighthouse one and then oh, i can't remember the other one so here i'm just going into the ocean again and i just took some of this little mixture here with some of the thala turquoises and and all that and then i'm just dropping in color again now the paper from the first time is a little bit damp but it's not saturated so when i come in with more water it's not like overly overly um saturated Now this is, I think, is dry enough for us to start on the sand. So we're going to go ahead and get going on that. Um, and for the sand, I just have some different browns and um, umbers on my palette here. And I just mixed, mixed them all up a little bit each. And a um, little, little beigey color, right? And then over here, this is some... Um, yellow ochre with some just a tiny bit of this red here this is this is i think it's a crimson but it's not um the cotman one i don't think so it could be you know what it could be but i just mixed that a uh, little red in there just to warm it up even more so and then we'll go in and we'll do some you know little detail stuff and um, and then we can uh, get the masking fluid off the boat. Okay, now that some of this is mainly wet, uh, dry, um, I'm gonna cover this section here best I can. Hmm. You know what, I'm gonna split this in two. And just kinda do that.
And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn this, cause like I said, I'm a little, I'm a left-hander. And I'm just gonna come in here. Get a little shadow under here. And what I'm doing is I'm just crisscrossing, going down, getting smaller as we go. And it gives us a hint of, gives us some shadow. Just taking a little bit of water and blending that out. Now let's turn our attention to the sky and sea line. So I want to kind of darken this up a little bit. Let me get my next. This is this eight I'm using. Okay. And I think perhaps we will do uh, we'll do a little indigo and maybe a little of this phthalo turquoise. And I just wanna I'm gonna turn this. So it's easier for me. Hey, look, there's more stuff on the beach. That's okay. No worries, we'll incorporate that. Okay. And then I'll come in with some water and blend that down. see when I turn it you'll see the more of a, <clears throat> a delineation between the sky and the ocean or otherwise also known as the horizon line I think <laughs> I don't know now on the sides here, I'm just, you know, I'm going to kind of just drop in a little bit more dark. I just want to give it a little bit more detail. Mm -hmm. Where's the paper? Here it is. We'll do it a little more. Spluttering. Well, that's... Hmm. It's going to be hard because that's still wet. Uh, here. Let me get uh, an angled brush. 
gosh, do I have an angler here? I do. And we'll get some, do some of that red with some of that yellow ochre, maybe a little bit of brown. And just kind of, I'm gonna one hand this. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Wet that, get a little more agua going. She needs a little more color. And um, maybe some of that emerald. Let's see what color. Ooh, okay. And then a little yellow ochre. Uh, just make it dark. I need a little more darker splatters on here so they actually show up. Yeah, it's not easy. Doing it one-handed. There we go. That's good. We can... There we go. Oh, So here's the outline of our boat, and unfortunately, it took up my pencil markings, but the the, the masking fluid, so we'll work around that. It's no biggie. I think what I'm gonna do is just kind of come out with a pencil. Here's my pencil, this is the one I used. Okay. And I'm just gonna kind of draw in where I want it, where I originally, the way I originally had it.
Head up over there, just pick it up with the napkin. Oh, that's kind of interesting looking. Let that dry a second before I go in with any more. Let me go back to the my blue. So I'm gonna try a little cerulean. And I'm just trying to like just 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 do a little little outline here. Boat, some shape. Let's get some darker or more paint on the brush. I'm just trying to darken up that side just a little bit. Okay, that's gonna have to dry a little bit more because that white is is running is running. 
So I'm just trying to blend this out. This is another way of just kind of cleaning up the edge here, just adding a little more of the ocean color. Blend that white out a little bit. Okay. I think it's a good place to stop. Um, I could certainly do more, but it's going to have to dry completely. Um, but you get the idea. I hope you... Um, enjoyed my little process here it was a little bit of a struggle there but like i said it's been a while since i um did a full watercolor painting so it was just kind of nice to play around and get and, and and make something um with my paints uh so thanks for joining me and i will see you on the next video